So you've come, Kenshiro. Toki. Brother. I've been waiting for you. You've grown so thin, Toki. <laughs> I am still breathing, though. Toki, listen to me. There's a man I want you to cure. He was hit with a strange technique. He needs you. How soon can he be here? He's waiting outside for us. I thought that... you, of all people, might be able to heal him. Will you help me, brother? I would do anything you asked of me. You should know. I would be more than happy to help you. He'll be all right now. I've struck a pressure point that will stop his mind from deteriorating. Toki, can you identify the style Kyo-o used? Yes. It is called Meito Kieken. Meito Kieken. It is similar to Hokuto Shinken, as its techniques destroy from within. One's aura of might is focused in a blow to the head. The flow of chi targets the mind, not the body. I had heard that users of this style have long since vanished. Who exactly is this Kyo-o? We're still not sure ourselves. Is Jagre cured then? Yes. You needn't worry. He'll wake up soon enough. He doesn't appear to be in pain. I believe he'll make a safe return. Good. <coughs> Are you all right, Toki? <laughs> I'm prepared for death to come at any moment. You needn't worry about me. Toki. There's a city called Eden. It's a safe place with water and gasoline. You should come with us. Ken, I'm sorry, but that is something I cannot do. I intend to remain in Cassandra. Why? Because of Kenno, the King of Fists. So it was Kenno who put you here. You know this man, Rihaku? Kenno, the self-proclaimed overlord of the Apocalypse, is a tyrant that rules through fear. He built Cassandra to execute anyone who dared defy him. Uyghur was merely the Warden. Yes. And Kenno fears my meeting with Kenshiro more than anything else. Why would he fear us meeting? Because he is the first of the four Hokuto disciples, Rao. Rao? He's alive too? Yes. Rao, the eldest, Toki, the second, Jagi, the third, and Kenshiro, the youngest. Master Ryukin took us in, taught us the ways of Hokuto Shinken, and in the end, chose you to be his successor. The day you were chosen was the day his ambitions were set into motion.
Brothers! Why aren't you saying anything? If we don't speak up, Kenshiro is going to be the chosen successor! He's the youngest and the least experienced. Doesn't it piss you off that someone like him is taking the title? Ah, don't you know what this means? Hokuto Shinken is only passed down to one successor! Only one! I know what happens to the rest of us. Those who aren't chosen are led to ruin! Yet you still say nothing?! <laughs> Cowards! The both of you! No way! I'm not letting the youngest take the title of successor! Master Ryuken has chosen poorly. This will mean the end of Hokuto Shinken. Where are you going, Rao? To the heavens! What are you saying? That you plan to become a god? I was born on this earth so that I might take everything with my own two hands! Do you intend to make the whole world your enemy, Rao? Of course I do! Nothing, not even God himself, will stand in my way. I'll crush anyone who dares oppose me! Farewell, Toki. On that day, Rao became a man of fierce ambition, one that fears neither god nor man. Then, the war began, and the world was remade in his image. Rao named himself Keno, and moved on to conquer the world through violence and fear. The only obstacle that remains is us, the last disciples. Rao feared the possibility that if the two of us met, we'd form a power even greater than his. That is why he held me prisoner. If Rao were to hear that I've accompanied you to Eden, he'd likely launch an all-out attack. If that happened, the whole city would be demolished, and we would both be killed. That's why you need to stay here? Yes. Hopefully, it will buy some time. Until then, I'll teach you secret techniques you have not yet learned. You'll teach me? This will grant you the power to defeat Rao. A power that will allow you to protect those you hold dear. Okay. Since you became the successor, I've often thought about passing my techniques on to you. <laughs> I suppose it's taken longer than I initially hoped. Toki. That's enough talk. Let us begin, Kenshiro. It's time I taught you my secret technique. All right. But before that, You'll need to understand the differences between our fists. Differences? We may both use Hokuto Shinken, but our essence is shown in how we wield our fists. Our essence is everything we hold within. Dispositions, emotions, philosophies. These can be seen in all styles. This will be much quicker if we let our fists do the talking. You always were a fast learner, after all. Are you ready? Yeah. Let us 
begin, Kenshiro. No need to be concerned. Were you able to feel the differences between our fists? Yeah. Yours are quiet and cancel their opponent's power. They strike the moment the enemy is caught off guard. That's right. Your aura of might is strong. But it burns with ferocity that is absent from mine. Your fists are like the waters of a raging stream, whereas mine are like that of a still pond. A still pond? Rao's fists are of the same nature as yours. A raging torrent. Rao's fists are the same as mine. When two streams collide, the stronger will always win. You and Rao will simply trade blows until one remains. Your chances of winning are slim, should you face him now. But if you gain a quiet fist, one that can consume even the most violent waters, you may stand a chance. You learning this ability from me is what Rao fears most. So that's why. Kenshiro. As sole successor of Hokuto Shinken, you cannot die. A victory against Rao means nothing if you're dead. You must live, and see this new age through. Use the technique I taught you to survive. Do you understand? Got it. This is our inescapable fate. Not over. 
Yeah. Yeah. You two. What? Jagre. Your Kenshiro. What happened to me? Jagre, you were hit by Kyo-O's technique. You've been unconscious until now. Kenshiro was able to find you a cure. What? Kenshiro saved me? Damn! I've sullied my name as Captain of the Watch! To think I owe my life to this punk of all people! 
You're feeling all right now, then? Huh? The hell do you care? <laughs> if he's that riled up already, he'll be just fine. <laughs> we should head back to Eden, then. Well, for what it's worth... Thanks, Ken. What was that? What? It was nothing! Come on, Kenshiro, get a move on! I'll be going now. Kenshiro, come back whenever you wish. The stars... The seven stars of Hokuto represent death. It would seem it's fate for Strife to follow him wherever he goes. <laughs> <laughs>